Can you please clean up my house and make it suitable for new tenants so I can put this mess behind me? You know what, Nick Flo? Oh. My. God! Good flipping morning, everybody! Welcome back to House Flipper! In the last episode, what did we do? Oh, we installed a ton of radiators in some guy's house and he gave us like 500 bucks for it. But then we went and painted some child's room blue because they were way too emo and they painted the room black. And we made like 30 grand off that or something. I can't remember exactly how much we did, but we made a lot of money. That's all that matters because we got to fix up our shambly shack of hope and we're going to get a piece of that apple pie up in the sky and have two floors to our house like a rich person. Rich people have two floors, right? Is that how that works? My hot plate has four burners. Can you say that? No, because your hot plate only has one burner. Okay, eventually this place is going to look spickety span. I'll tell you that. Oh, you know what? I never even thought that we could install a radiator. I don't know why it's all in caps. Mountable big radiator. We don't need a big radiator. Can we install? Why can't we install this radiator? We'll figure that out as time goes along. Why can't I install that radiator on that wall? Let's get some jobs. We need some jobs because we need some money. Student's house to clean up. Ugh. Okay, let's do the amaranth walls first. I think she just wanted us to paint the living room. The remaining walls are like painted in stunning and gray. Place a broken electrical socket. Oh, fine. It's my job to replace. This is the same house I was at last time. What are they doing? Oh, maybe it's not. It just kind of looks like it. Does, do they want every house painted? Is that where the electrical socket is? I don't want to start hauling out fridges and stuff if... Okay, let's pick this up. Put this over here. Boop, boop. Aha! I was right. What do I gotta do? Fix it up? Oh. Oh. For the record, don't do this yourself, boys and girls, because... Your big dumb dumb friend Sugar Cat tried to do this once on his own and he made a mockery of things and accidentally almost electrocuted himself. So try to be safe when you're dealing with stuff like this. Don't try to screw in these screws with an old butter knife. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because you'll end up blasting yourself across the room and you might not survive through it. I was lucky and I don't go near sockets anymore because I'm a big stupid. Look at that. Look at that. She's going to be like, you know what? I'm going to give you a million dollars, Mr. President, because you did such a good job. And I'm like, you know what? I did because I'm awesome. And I'm going to put your cover back where it belongs because I am a good dude like that. Right? Were they in the right place? Sure they were. I don't know if they were or not, but let's just say they were. That one had a cover. Let's fix this. Oh, man. What's going on here? Did you just slam a pizza into the socket? I mean... I'm all about trying to jam pizzas into light sockets and plug sockets and stuff, but that's not how you get electricity. That's how you get dead. This looks kind of new. L, what does that say? Is this how you install plugs? Like you just stick it in there and stick a screw in and power happens? I mean, that's kind of fascinating and stuff, but I know one of them's a the ground and one of them makes power happen, but this is not my strength. My strength is playing games poorly. That is where I get my, my, my Popeye strength from. Some people say spinach, other people say being terrible at video games. All I want is the shelf to go back into place. Why well, won't it go back into place? Go to your home shelf. It's your home. Don't you know where your home is? Are we done with the devices? Yes, paint with the amaranth adventure and gray paint rooms. What, all the rooms? No, she does not expect me to paint every room oh no i'm gonna be here all day living room with kitchenette paint with the colors amaranth adventure and gray what's an amaranth adventure this you want this wait and gray how do you do both are we gonna do like like polka dot all right here we go I hope you're ready for this. Is that even a good... Yeah, actually, it is a good color for a kitchen. I was wrong. I was about to, like, tell her off for having a crappy color in her, um, in her kitchen. But I'm actually kind of impressed. It's kind of a nice color. But I'm a little bit concerned about what she wants done with the gray. Am I just going to do, like, these other two walls in gray? Maybe. Maybe I'll just do that. I think this might look nice. It might look absolutely terrible, though. Oh, no! That's not what I wanted at all. Are we going to... I just realized how therapeutic this game is and how relaxing it is. You guys are along for the whole journey, and that's awesome. And I don't know how entertaining it is to watch 
a, a man paint a wall. But, you guys seem to enjoy it. So, thank you very much. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to find things to talk about on games where you're just painting a wall. I hope that it's entertaining at least, and at least maybe cathartic in a way. And you guys are sitting there doing whatever it is you're doing, maybe eating supper or homework or, I don't know, shaving the cat. And you're just like, boy oh boy, I wish I could watch 15 or 20 minutes or so of some guy painting a wall. Well, guess what? Guess who got you covered? When you woke up this morning, was the only thing you thought of was, boy, I wish I could watch a guy paint a wall. I mean, that's what I think of in the morning. I had a really weird dream last night, too. I put it on my Twitter this morning. I had a dream that I had 3,000 subscribers, and for some reason, as soon as I hit 3,000, the numbers started spinning up faster than I could see them. I mean, I hope that happens, but it's just a weird dream. We are on the cusp of 1,000, which is completely awesome. Maybe we'll have this house actually finished by the time I hit 1,000 subs. I doubt it. Maybe I'll be just be still painting. Maybe I'm, this is purgatory. Maybe this is my purgatory, and I'm just here painting houses forever. Wait, what have I missed? 98%. Oh, up there. See that? I see it. Do you see it, boys and girls? Do you see this little spot up here that I missed? 99. Do you see anything else? Do you see somewhere that I missed? Because I sure don't. And it's not like we're going to give up. Yeah! Task complete! I think we're done. Are we done? Is that it? Can I sell this paint back? Nah. Let's give it to him as a gift. Merry Christmas from Sugar Cat. You're going to... 1300 bucks. Really? That's it? All that painting? It is a long and hard road to get a nice house, isn't it? What are we up to? 51,000. Additional walls, student house to clean up. Good morning! I hope you can help me. I'm retired and not in the best of health. I currently own an apartment that I've been renting to students for many years. This year, unfortunately, I rented to a bad bunch of students, which turned out to be not the best decision. Oh, there's your first mistake, renting out to a bunch of rowdy students like Animal House. They didn't pay on time, so I went to check things out. When I opened the door, I almost had a heart attack. Holy crap! The whole house was in a pigsty. There was trash, liquor bottles, mud, mud? They were laying on the kitchen floor drinking. When I spoke to them, they rudely told me to go away. Some of the furniture and radiators are missing. Can you please clean up my house and make it suitable for new tenants so I can put this mess behind me? You know what, Nick Flo? Oh. My. God! What? Oh. Remove trash, destroy the cockroach nest. Excuse me? Oh, we're going in with our squiggity brute, and we're going to... Oh, man. Oh, my. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to help this guy out because we feel bad for him. Holy crap. People do do this. You ever see those shows? Um, It's on like A&E and stuff. Not hoarders, but there's ones where like people rent things out to people. They make this happen. If you're like this, don't be disrespectful. Be a decent person and actually clean up after your mess. Get out of here, David Bowie. Let's get this crap off the walls. Let's help this fellow out. Are those birch bark lamps? All right, I can't help you there, but let's squeaky up some windows. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. That looks okay. Let's buy this man a radiator and a squiggity, squiggity, squaw. All right, that room is done. That's Oh, my. All right. You know what? This is a lot of recyclable money, though. I'm going to cash these in and get, like, I don't know, $3,000 in just recyclables. How can there be mold on the ceiling? How is it even possible? How do you make this happen? Cleaning up the scuzzy teenager's mess. Because they were disrespectful assholes. What's that sound? Nope. Nothing going on here. Okay, let's start with the bathroom because it's at least half manageable. My old straw mop here is not uh, not going to be cutting it for much longer. I need a mountable towel rack is what I want. Right there. I need a, my nice towel rack. We're going to turn this place into a million dollars. He's going to be able to sell it for at least a hundred million. Where'd the sink go? What happened to the sink? They took the sink with them? Who takes a sink with you? I'm not even sure he asked for a sink. So this is just pure gift to him. And I'm hoping he appreciates it. I'm just being a nice guy. Sugar Cat's nice guy house fixing company. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. I couldn't think of a of a snappy name. If you guys have a better name, 
make sure you let me know. What's a good name for the company? We'll twist your knobs and stuff your pipe. Oh, boy, it's just non-stop, isn't it? There was no window in the bathroom, right? Window in the bathroom, do do do. That's totally not how that song goes. I can hear the cockroaches. I can hear them in the other room. That's how many there are. That's how disgusting these people were. I'm I'm revolted. I'm just I'm revolted. Oh my, look how dirty this place is. There. I think I declare this room done. Except for that. Why isn't it in the middle of the floor? Oh, never mind. Other than that big stain in the middle of the floor. Is it time? No, it's not time. We're not going that way just yet. Oh, there's another bathroom. What happened here? Someone get murdered? So this is a... A washer? What? Like a washer washer? What? I never heard anything about this either, but all of a sudden he's like asking me for washing machines now. He's going to want to put his dirty old socks and stuff somewhere so is this how you hook up a washing machine you know it's one of those things i never really thought of in my life boy oh boy i wonder how you hook up a washing machine i've always wanted to know how this is how it's teaching me how what am i doing putting everything back on i took the cover off i loosened some things up and now i'm apparently doing something well you learn something new every day boys and girls you learn how to uh, hook up a washing machine. Apparently, it's just two hoses. All right, bathroom complete. We got one more room left before we go into uh, the end of the world in there. There are literally some kind of bodily fluid stain all over the place. And it's my job with my straw mop to come in here and clean up whatever kind of nasty funk these nasty college students have left on my nice clean house. These windows look much better once they get a nice squeegee clean though. I'm seriously gonna look up where to get one of these steamy clean squeegee thingies because they seem amazing for windows. Look at that. Nice. Let's get some air in here. Get his radiator on. Get your radiator on. Do 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 get your radiator on. Do 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 your desk is now going under the window backwards <laughs> i'm gonna flip it around because that's not very nice of me all right get your get your hazmat suits on here we go oh my god i'm gonna barf um pull out the vacuum cleaner oh is this how you get rid of cockroaches like for reals you just suck them all up because that would look to me like you would have a giant bag full of cockroaches and that sounds absolutely revolting i mean you could use them to uh like, play a prank on your friends and throw a big... Oh my god! Ugh! Ugh! Okay, that's gross! Oh my... Oh my... God! Okay, 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 okay. Let's let's clean quickly, quick, 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 Okay, 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 okay. I don't even know what to do. Pull it back and clear. Oh, God. Come on. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. I mean, there's worse pests to have in your house, I guess. Have you guys ever had to deal with uh, something like this? Maybe you were in... Oh, I was able to turn the light on. Maybe you went to college and you stayed at a dorm and it was in this kind of shape. And all you wanted to do was have it be clean. And you couldn't because your roommates were absolutely disgusting. There's so many bottles. Why is there one? Why are there just three red strips on the wall? What What were they doing? Painting? You having a painting party? You decided to paint like two feet of room? They didn't make a mess on the deck, which is even more surprising because it's summer. Why wouldn't they be on the deck? You'd think they would be on the deck having a good old time, having barbecues and everything, but no. They'd rather just come in here and like squeeze gravy all over the oven. I mean, everyone likes the gravy, but holy moly, even the chairs are covered in crap. I'm worried that, oh. Get out of here! Why can't I clean this wall? There we go. There we go. Okay, let's tidy up this chair and stuff. Because if we're going to do a good job, we're going to do it right. These walls were so dark that there's black furniture in here and I couldn't even see them. That's how dark these walls are. Okay. This room is complete. We can close that door. Boop. You know what? We'll take it. And we'll end this episode here for now. I've been doing this for an hour. Holy crap! I'm almost at, what, $60,000 for the house? 
which means we're doing pretty good. So in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll start to actually refurbish our house here. We're going to start chucking a lot of this crap that we have. And we're going to start buying some new things. And we're going to have a pool up in this bitch. We're going to have a whirlpool. We're going to have a sauna. We're going to have a giant diving pool. And oh man, I can see the dirt on the minimap now. That's a bit depressing. All right, for now, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Keep being awesome. I'll see all of you in the next video.